a tribal species, and as such, we utterly disdain things that challenge our worldview. 1632, Galileo was prosecuted, convicted, imprisoned, and almost executed because he said the earth revolved around the sun instead of the universe revolving around the earth. Today, the same thing is happening, only instead of the inquisition of the church, it's the inquisition of scientific mindsets. Physics tells us that alternative energy projection from things like cold fusion, zero point energy, matter to energy technologies is possible. But the reality is no one can investigate it. We're given blacklisting of people at university. We're told, hey, you can't even discuss it when you go into the boardroom. So the Forbidden Energy Prize gives us $20 million for the first team that can reproduce substantive energy generation from an entirely new method, twice in two weeks. This prize might be too audacious. It might not even be achievable. But if it is, it fundamentally changes the game. I'm not telling you it'll solve world hunger or reverse climate change, but it'll make solving those problems so much unbelievably easier. This may not be achievable, but that's what a prize is about, isn't it? Set an audacious goal, and if it's won, we pay it out and we change the world. Let's embrace forbidden energy. Thank you. Hold on, stay here for a second. Stay here, stay here. Uh, I do a lot of selfies with bald guys. There we go. <laughs>